you need to go to the site zodo.com type it in your address bar and once you see the launch now button you can click on that there are various features you can also explore there click on view and edit button once you hit that you will get the option to load your file select the PDF file which you want to edit for example I choose this file and I open it now you have several tabs which are open the first one shows you all the pages that are available on the document the second one is here with the page break option this is the hand tool the select tools are also here you can also try uh, to fit the page onto your screen to make it larger the zoom in and the zoom out effects are also very helpful the pen icon lets you choose the pen for easy corrections you can increase or decrease the thickness of the pens and choose the color for example if I have to use it here for correction I just put a tick and I can put a cross wherever I need to you can also underline and you can also write some notes with free handwriting you can underline and you can show the highlighter tool is the second tool that we are going to discuss let's uh, take the yellow color and uh, let us highlight this portion here yeah it's a bit light now let us try something which is more clearly visible uh, yes I hope it is clear now yes absolutely so you can highlight using different colors and inform your students for green these are the points that you're looking for for red the points to omit this is the rectangle tool which helps you highlight a particular portion cut out in a rectangular fashion similarly you have the circle one you can also add text to it and write something type something for your students to read some comment like I'm writing please add the month right and I hit enter oh, yes and then you also have the call out button option which I find is very useful and then you can use the arrow button to show in which all sentences the student needs to add the month so in different places the student hasn't mentioned the month I would draw attention next the call out button as I was talking previously about it it is a very useful tool for corrections where you get the option to draw a text box with an arrow and you can type in your comments areas of improvement so elaborate further and yep you need to use the select tool back and yes you need to place it at the side so that none of the other texts is getting hidden and point it out to the sentence to help the student understand what mistake or what addition or amendment they have to make in the answer so I'm also justifying why only half marks have been awarded here and using the pen tool I can also 
award marks and decide if I like this answer I'll give the student two marks if this is a cross I will only give half a mark because half of the answer is wrong you can adjust the thickness of the pen as per your choice you can underline you can cross there are several other options I would like to show you especially uh, the options that are available on this tab to underline which is very neat I would say it's a very straight line this is a curved line which would be running through the text and a strikeout is also available here so if you want to cancel any part of the answer to show the student that he has made a mistake you can use this button right these are some of the very interesting features you can use it online free of cost without any hassle of downloading expensive softwares on your computer it's also available on your mobile phones and laptops yes and once I'm done with the comment I can just hit save button yeah I place the text at the right place and put the arrow yeah, pointing it to the answer where I want the change and now after finishing everything I would like to save yeah, once you hit the save button everything would be saved and downloaded onto your PC so you can save it wherever you want